Hey everybody, welcome to our Splat and Chat video today, right? We love all y'all out there. How y'all doing? Are y'all surviving through quarantine? Who's y'all? Oh, who's here with me again because she's not at school. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Y'all is all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we hope you're surviving. Today's a really nice day outside, so go out and play. And also, something that makes us really happy, or makes me really happy, I don't know if it makes you really happy. It doesn't. It doesn't? <laughs> is that spring is on its way. Right? You can see the it's little flowers are coming out. We got daffodils blooming in our yard. Mommy, we and... already had spring break. Well, I it mean, is spring. I know. I know. Wasn't it exciting? And there's it's little blossoms that are blooming on summer. trees. And it's you so much it's, fun. You mean it's almost summer. No, it's not almost summer. It's, it's spring. Like spring is happening. It is spring. And why'd you say it's almost spring? Anyway, so let's paint something spring today. Should we paint something spring-like? Should we paint a butterfly? Yeah. A butterfly and flowers in a fill? Yeah. That would be fun, right? Right? No. Yes, it would. It would be fun. Yes, it would. <laughs> It'd be fun. So let's paint. Let's paint a butterfly. Oh, we're going to be needing a big brush. A medium-sized brush that they like, floofed out. And then and just a normal medium brush. And then a thick brush. Yeah, so if you got a me two medium brushes, one of them needs to be just a little bit flared out on top. It's just kind of an old brush flared out. And then, yeah, come on. I'm going to need a paper plate, a paper towel, and a cup of water. And they're going to need some paint, too. Some paint, yeah. Let's talk about the paint. Those ones. And you're going to need this white, blue. Colors green, yellow, orange, red, black. And yeah. We are going to paint a sky with some light colors, light blue, light green, and then kind of whatever else you want to paint flowers and your butterfly. These are the colors we're using, huh? We'll tell you as we go, mm -hmm. too, right? Mm -hmm. And then we also need what? A canvas. Something to paint on, right? Somebody yeah. painted a cute video of ours on um, pieces of cardboard that they cut out and that was so cute so you guys can cut out you can paint on cardboard whatever you got you can so. paint on paper yeah cardboard paper so let's get started should we start yeah yeah okay start with light blue and light green light green okay so you got those on your palette get your biggest brush lime sherbet green yeah in blue cotton blue well it doesn't get have your, to be those colors but. get your big brush wet a little bit damp it off on your paper towel and then we're gonna start with some of the blue first and just start painting it on there. It's gonna be a little bit watery, this color is, okay? So I'll kind of make some up and down strokes, up and down, it's kind of watery. And then every once in a while, I'll grab a little bit of your green and put that in there in spots, okay? Just to kind of vary the sky a little bit. Do pretty. I have to do mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty. Do you don't wanna do that? Make sure you're painting your sides. It doesn't look good. It will look great, I promise. Wait, where's yours? Trust me. Once you got your sky on there, if you just decided to do plain blue, I did green and some blue, green and blue, but you can decide what you want to do, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little brush, the one that's kind of not flared out, the one that's more um, uh, tight, like more, like you just go like this with your brush and it looks like a sharp let edge, okay? Okay, see this one's more skinny. And this one's more flare to the front. So we want two kinds of brushes. Right now we're gonna use this one that's not, one. that one that's not flared. Perfect. Okay, take the brush and always wet it down a little bit first. Get it dried off. <clears throat> then you're gonna take your brush, the medium one that we just talked about, the one that's not real flared out. And you're gonna start down here and you're gonna take some long blue, long blue pieces up like this. There we go. Just in this one corner over here in this edge. Okay. Yeah, you can do it there too, that's fine. Okay, make sure you have a little bit of water so it goes up nice. And then kind of make it kind of get smaller as it goes over there on that side. Right? Start from the bottom and drag them up. Okay, then we're gonna take our flared brush. Take your flared brush. Did you get those all the way across there? Mm -hmm. Take. Are you gonna do yours on that side? Your bunch of grass on this side? Yeah. Oh, cool, okay. So take your flared brush and 
take it, put the same color blue on it, and then you're gonna make a couple little flowers with it. And you're just gonna kind of take your flared brush and make a, like a cluster of little. Um, are we gonna make them different colors? Yeah, these are the background ones. These are the very, very back, so you can barely see. Exactly. Yeah, you gotta kind of make it match the rest of your paint, so it's like it's way in the background. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mix a couple of cluster flowers back here, like that. I'm just gonna make three of them like that. Okay. And then you're gonna set your brush again. Yeah, that's pretty, Oakley. Looks good. Perfect, okay, rinse that brush out. Okay, now you're gonna take your light green color. With the fluffy brush again? Just with the regular brush. The regular brush. The regular brush, not the fluffy brush, huh? And you're gonna make some greens right on top of that this time. Make some tall ones that come out. Make sure you're turning your brush this way, the long skinny mm -hmm. way, okay? Make some tall ones, because those are where your flowers are gonna be on. Okay. And then you can kind of turn your brush to be the wide way and make some big grasses that come up if you want to, too. Okay, right on top of your other light blue grasses that you made. Okay, now this time you get a little bit darker green this time. A little bit darker green. If you don't have a little bit darker green, put a little bit of blue in your green, okay? And that'll make it kind of help to make it a little darker. That one's a really runny one, so be really careful with that. <laughs> okay, then you do the same thing. With the runny peat, you just let it drip. it. These ones are going to show up really, really well, huh? So get those blades of grass on there. Some tall ones. There you go. A little bit darker, huh? I'm going to make it some big wide ones just come up. You can always paint grass on the way that the grass would grow. From the bottom and it grows up to the top. Pretty. I'm just going to fill it with some dark grasses. That's pretty Oakley. I'm going to cut Matt out a couple more just right through the front right here. Mm. Looks pretty, huh? Into there. Across the bottom. Here. Aren't we just gonna do background ones back there? Yeah, you can leave it with that is too. Any way you wanna do it. Okay, then let's add just a little bit of black to that darker green. Just a little bit. Because the black goes a long, long way. So we just need a little tiny bit of black and a little bit of black. Do we have to? You don't have to. You can leave it the way it is. Yeah, that's what I Okay, the leave it the way it is. I'm going to show you my little bit of black with my green. I'm going to get a dark green. And I'm going to put a little bit of shadow grass in there, too. See right through there? Give it a little bit of shadowy grass. Pretty, huh? I'm going to make sure I get the spots of where my easels are. There, pretty, pretty, just like that. Okay. And you can leave it just bright, pretty colors. You don't have to worry about putting black in there if you don't want to. Now we're going to put our flowers on. We're going to do dark blue flowers on top. So get the blue or whatever color flower you want to do now. You can do purple or red or whatever. It doesn't matter that these ones are blue because they are kind of match your sky. So you're back there. Now we're going to do some dark blue ones with your poofy brush, the one that kind of poofs out a little bit, okay? Kind of like bluish purple instead. Yeah, let's get you a bluish purple. Find a purple color you like over there. Which one do you like? Purple, you like? purple would be pretty. Do you like add the blue into the purple? You can if you want to, or just pick a purple color that you like. Okay, take your poopy brush. Oka's going to do purple. I'm going to do this color blue. She's chosen this purple. I'm choosing this blue. And you're just going to dip it in the color. Okay, kind of dry brush this time. You don't want to get a lot of paint. You don't want to put a lot of water in it. And you're going to put a flower. Or kind of on the, on the top of your green stem somewhere, okay? It's just going to kind of look like your other flowers you made. It's going to be like a poof ball of color, okay? 
Mine looks like a real plant that's in your garden that's like mm -hmm. purple. It's pretty. Just like that. A little poof ball of colors. Okay. Okay. That one's in the middle of nowhere. It's like the <laughs> stem holding it up. Okay, add a little bit of white now to your palette. Just a little bit of white. Here goes your hair. Take the same poofy brush, dip it in the white, and you're gonna add just a little bit of white to the tops of your flowers that you just did. Okay, just a little bit of white to the tops. You got it. Just kind of mix it in with your color, so it's kind of a lighter color. Not you don't want you want it, don't want it to look white. You want it to look like a lighter color of what you got there. That would look okay, that's weird. pretty. Okay, go to the next one. Don't don't fill the whole thing in with white. Just the very top of it. It just looks weird. It's the top. Well, I just did that one. Okay, like that. the rest. Because that one looked ugly. That's fine. Oh. A little bit of white. Yep. Then go to the next one. Do the white. Perfect. And do the next one. Okay, now you want to mix a little tiny bit of black in with your color that you're doing. Okay, so I got blue. I'm gonna mix black with my blue, and just do the very bottom of it in that color. Just kind of blend it in a little bit. Okay, so you got some fun, pretty colors. Pretty flowers. Oh, those looking good. Your whites look good. Get some little bit of black in with your purple. Just a little bit. You want any black? Okay, you don't have to put it. That's just a little fun shadow down there. Okay, those are our flowers. Now let's work on our butterflies. Okay, get your brush that's the clo like the tight one, not the poofy one, the nice the nice straight one, okay? Look at our flowers, how pretty they look already. They're pretty, huh? Then you're gonna take this brush. You got that? Okay, that's enough. <laughs> but you're gonna go the opposite way I am. Your butterfly's gonna be sitting this way. My butterfly's gonna be sitting this way, okay? Um, Can you figure that out? Sweet. Is it in the water? Which one's your flat brush? Which one's your booby brush? This one's my flat brush. Okay, so load up your flat brush with the color you want your butterfly to be. Flat brush. Okay, and we're gonna start up here kind of high above our flower and we're gonna come down like this, like a little swoop. So so start here and come down to a swoop. Do it flat like this way. Go down. This way. Go the other way. There you go. Make it a little bit wider so it almost there you go. So it almost touches your butterfly. Or your flower. Is it okay if it did that? Right yeah, there? that's good. Huh? Just make that a little bit wider so it almost touches, almost touches your, your thing there. Okay, then you need to make the little wing that looks like that. There's one wing, which you kind of already got, huh? Then you're going to make a little bud like this on the bottom of it, and that's the second Good one. Good one in the middle. Yep. There's our pretty butterfly wing. It looks kind of like a, what does that look like? Nothing. It looks like a weird, <laughs> a weird sofa. A weird sofa? A weird sofa. Just kind of make a half butterfly wing there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a little bit of red. You probably want red too. Red? Mm -hmm. I don't good. You want to do red? Mm. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit of red right here at the very end. So my butterfly is I'm going to put that orange. This orange? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit of red all the way around his wing right there. And a little bit of red right. Oops, look what I did to my painting. <laughs> I got some red on there. I'm just gonna wipe it off with my finger. And I can paint it back on again with some more grasses a little bit. Okay. So I just kind of put red right at the very tips of him. Or you can do orange, I'll go do an orange color. If the matches it better. Red. Yeah. Then dry off your brush really good and you can soften up that line right there. Just by only that, rubbing it in. A little bit of red too and you go just take it right here in the middle and you kind of just pull it out towards the edge of your... Is that what that is? Just pull out a little bit of red. Like that. See how pretty? The yellow and white. Do you want to put some yellow and white in there? Put a little bit of yellow on. Where? I'll show you. Right in the middle. I don't want to do that either. You don't want to do that either? Are you nervous about it or something? I don't want to do it. I just got something. Okay, I'm going to add yellow and white to my paintbrush. I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow and white right through them. Oh, look how pretty that is. See how that mixes them together? Oh, pretty, 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 pretty. Look at that. 
just drag a little bit of yellow and white in there. Oh. Ooh! See, it kind of makes it look like it's feathered a little bit. Ooh, it doesn't have Ooh. any feathers! There, see how pretty? The butterfly okay. have feathers on their wings. No, they're just feathery. Trick question! <laughs> Okay, now the trick. That's it, pretty much. The trick is now we're gonna outline our butterfly. Okay, so you're gonna get the skinny brush right here, and you're gonna get black on it. And what skinny. you're gonna do? You gotta be really careful with outlining part now. Okay, trick to outlining is to get your brush wet. I'm doing it. And to just get it into a really fine point to get the water just a little bit wet. You can do it. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. We're just gonna outline the whole butterfly wing. We're gonna go down here. I'm gonna be bad at it. You're not gonna be bad at it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go down here. And these ones over here can be a little bit thicker. This side down over here. And even if you get little spunks that come in like that on your butterfly, it'll look really pretty. Okay. Like that. And then let's make this one. I like this one coming down like this. I think that's pretty. And then another one right here. You gonna do it with me? Come on, baby. Be you brave. Need to do it for me. Be brave. You can do it. You're doing it. Do you want to do it with a marker? Mm -hmm. There you go. Who's drawing it on with a Sharpie marker, which you can totally do, okay? That, so you like doing that better? Huh? It's a little easier. I'm gonna make it thick too. Yeah, make a thicker edge right at the back. It'll be pretty, huh? This one just a little thicker here too to cover my reds back there. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, you got that part? That looks good with Sharpie, huh? It's pretty. And I kind of like these little dragged in things that are like look at make mistakes. Kind of pretty too. Get some variation, huh? That's pretty ugly. Good job. Is marker easier? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's give the little butterfly a head. You ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I usually give them a little body first, like this. A little body that kind of goes down. It looks like a little. That's just a little bunch of. Yep. Just a bunch of little squigglies. It looks like an ant. <laughs> it does. And then I give them a little head. And then there's some little antennas that come out, right? Yeah. It's an Perfect. ant with wings. An ant with wings? <laughs> kind of what basically what a butterfly is, huh? Make his tail just a little longer. Oop. Okay, look how cute that is. Okay, now turn your paintbrush around. Look how cute that is. It's pretty. If you want to, you can add a little bit more color right through the middle. Do you want to add more color in the middle? Like some stripes or variegation? No? Okay, take your back of your paintbrush and you're gonna dip it in white. I don't yes. think it really matters what paint version is. And we're just going to put some cute little two dots down the back of the wing. Back part, yep. There you go. Yep, that doesn't matter what kind of brush that one is, huh? Just dot it, dot it, dot it. <gasps> Ooh, look how pretty it is! Did you get it? And you, that's it? Is that fun? That was easy enough, huh? Do you sure you don't want to put any little variegations in your butterfly? Let me know. Look how pretty that is. Okay, and you're done? You could do a full butterfly. All well, kind of, sort of. <laughs> Tell me your back where you put your name. Baby. Signed it, and then she named Baby. it. Yeah, I named it Belle. Belle, butterfly. The butterfly Belle. Belly butterfly. Oh. Doesn't that make you excited for spring? Yes! Yes! Are we excited for spring? If this doesn't get you excited for spring, I don't know what will. <gasps> <laughs> Did you kill it? Yes. Okay, anyway, put it up, put it up, put it up. There's little dots. Beautiful. What, the little dots? Yeah, I'm gonna touch them. <gasps> 
It's just your time to hear. All right. We'll say. Bye. Thanks for painting with us today. Hope you come back for more. If you like what you did today, make sure you like and subscribe and um, hit the notification bell and um, comment. Comment. Something. <laughs> what things you're supposed to say? <laughs> All right. Bye.